the Filipino version of the low-rise dining tables used in Asian cultures like Japan, Korea, among others. But in the Philippines, the term has taken a whole new meaning, dulang the tradition of communal eating. However, this custom has begun to go away through the passing of time. And it is such a shame really when one thinks of it that foreign dining practices like the Japanese shabu shabu or Koreans mukbangan samyotsal are quite more embraced by Pinoy's. Case in point, dulang is not familiar to most of us. To address this predicament, the Loak City government had started to incorporate dulang in the celebration of Pamulinawin Festival featuring Ilocano cuisines and delicacies to also promote food tourism in Ilocos as a whole. Happy Fiesta, Lawag City! I am Mary Jo Andralieca Pasigi, a Social Welfare Officer at of the City Social Welfare and Development Office, Lawag City. Uh, our Pamunawin Festival is uh, composed of so many activities like the Dulang Food Fair. This is a month-long activity uh, in celebration and in commemoration of the feast Day of Saint William the Hermit, our patron saint. The composition of uh, the Dulang Food Fair was originated during the time of uh, Mayor Roger Farinas, where Me Madam Chona Farinas was then the city tourism officer of the city of Lawag. This Dulang Food Fair was conceptualized through the effort and initiative of Mrs. Mary C. Ang and of course Ma'am Guilla Valenciano, who were then the chairperson and the co-chairperson of the Dulang Food Fair. This activity was carried out in the next administration of Honorable Michael Farinas. It was also carried out during the administration of Honorable Civil Farinas and carried out during the present administration of Honorable Michael Marcos Kion. In fact, last year we also conducted this Dulang Food Fair featuring sugarcane as the promises of good health. And uh, we intend to continue this Dulang Food Fair as uh, one of the highlights of this Pamulinawan Festival. However, and unfortunately, the COVID-19 is still an active threat in performing this activity. The composition of this Dulang Food Fair is, one of which is the Pagsokmunan. Pagsokmunan means the featuring of our Ilocano wine, or we call it the Basi. We also featured in this Pagsokmunan the, the sugar cane juice, or we call it Bennal. We also have here the Kinalti in different categories like Kinalti nga diket, Kinalti nga saba, Kinalti nga kamote, Kinalti nga trunk iti papaya, and many other forms of Kinalti. Also here we have the, the Tupig counter, which is one of the most prominent Ilocano uh, delicacies, especially during festivities like the Pamulinawan Festival. We also have here featuring also the uh, dodol, forms of dodol, the suman, uh, linapet, and other delicacies. These are the, the compositions of the Pagsokmunan as part of the Dulang Food Fair. Another composition of our, of our Dulang Food Fair is the Iloko Deli, where our RIC, uh, Rural Improvement Club, uh, or we call it the, the women's group in our barangays also features their different uh, Ilocano cuisine and Ilocano products. We also have the MMSU Delicatessen where they also features all their uh, native delicacies uh, or native products. We also have the different uh, hotels Restaurants, they are also invited to present and to feature also their special uh, Ilocano uh, products uh, relative to the Ilocano food that is being featured every year. So, we also have the one of the highlights of the Dulang Food Fair is the big centerpiece. Meron tayo if we, for example, if we feature a sugar cane at the DJ Dakkel nga, nga pagdapilan, uh, pagdapilan as the centerpiece uh, with different uh, sugar cane uh, as the centerpiece of uh, that year if we go, go going to feature sugar cane. So, if feature tayo mat iti, for example, kung ma-feature tayo mat iti 
karabasa at damot ti centerpiece tayo nga dactyl nga karabasa and one of the of the menu or most of the menu I should say is out of karabasa kastakasya so if this year ti feature tayo kat karabasa ti met ingredients or main ingredients na mausar for the contest because there is also a competition in secondary level is out of karabasa So, ada tayo main dish nga karabasa, ada tayo beverage tayo nga out of karabasa, ada tayo snacks tayo nga out of karabasa. If we feature uh, sugar cane, kasi yung met. Sugar cane must always be the, or the yamulases, uno the jibennal, must always be the main ingredients of the different four categories nga maiprepare during the competition. So, the gijay it the composition for the Dulang Food Fair, Uh, I repeat, we have the pagsok munan, we have the topic counter, we have the iloko deli, we have the delicatessen by the uh, DepEd and MMSU, and we also have the the displays of our different hotels, restaurants, uh, bakers, and uh, caterers in Lawag City, where they can also promote their products. Uh, showcasing what is being featured in that year. Uh, Doon po nagmula or nag-originate yung, yung pagkandak ng Dulang Food Fair as one of the highlight of the Dulang Festival or the Pangulinawian Festival. Now, how it is related with the celebration of Pangulinawian Festival? Knowing that festival is a gathering of, of many people, uh, it is a celebration It is a way of reunion or homecoming. Then uh, its relationship is that, uh, of course, when you have your homecoming, you always look back to the traditions na pinagmulam, yung mga nakagawian mo or nakasanayan mo na way of cooking or yung mga nakasanayan mo na pagkain. Hindi lang dun sa native delicacies but more on those sa mga main dishes and iba pang native uh, cuisine na where you can uh, always uh, looking back into. So, it is a binding link to our Balik Bayans uh, kasi as I have said earlier, uh, day to day time, ag homecoming tayo, ag reunion tayo. So, it's not just merely seeing one another because uh, while seeing each another, syempre, dapat adamot detikan tayo, di ba? So, we need food to prepare for our homecoming, to prepare for our gathering, to prepare for our reunions. So, that's the reason why we include Dulang Food Fair uh, in times of Pamulinawen Festival. And one more thing, uh, since Pamulinawen means a beautiful lady, it came from the name Beautiful Woman, Uh, which was made popular in the Ilocano folk song entitled Pamulinawen. So from the word beautiful lady, uh, we don't uh, merely perceive the physical beauty of an Ilocano, but more on the inner beauty, which is uh, uh, hardworking, industrious, respectful, uh, patient, persevering, yun po yung mga katagingian po ng isang Ilocana. So, as a remblance of the Amulinawen, we want to feature and we want to prove that Ilocana are really very industrious. They are very, really very hardworking. So, uh, hindi lang yung prinoprove natin dito is yung physical na kaanyohan or your physical beauty, but more on the inner beauty of an Ilocana. So, yun po yung relationship nun. And, Uh, likewise, we want to inculcate to our millennials today our traditions and way of uh, cooking our food before. Kasi uh, kung saan nang galing yung mga parents, mga lolos and lolas ng mga millennials natin doon, dapat uh, i-carry din ng mga millennials natin. Hindi dapat uh, kalimutan. That's the reason why we also include competitions in cooking. Uh, because we want our millennials today to also experience and to still uh, know our old way of, uh, or our traditions in cooking and preparing Ilocano cuisines. 
So by using the newest technology, we can input our uh, Ilocano ingredients and blend it with the newest technology of today. So, yun po yung relationship nun. Uh, we are proving the, not just the physical beauty of uh, an Ilocana, but most especially and uh, uh, yung talagang uh, katangian iti may isang uh, Ilocana, which is industrious, patient, persevering, uh, loving, hardworking, because an Ilocana is just like team na laing damit nga mga roper iti kalente ganda. Not just that and uh, saying yes, but they also uh, good in fighting their rights. Uh, kaya dang ilaban ni Tikalente Ganda kas may isang babae. So, so yun, yun, yun yung inner beauty ng isang Ilocana.